I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, July 2014. Foreign Workers Program Challenged in Court. A husband and wife owning two chain restaurants in Labrador have launched a constitutional challenge against Ottawa's move to restrict them from hiring foreign workers and place their business on an online blacklist. In 2013, Jeff and Miriam Staples, who own Jungle Jim's restaurant and Greco Pizza franchises, had made five labor market opinion applications to hire about 20 migrant workers. But three of their applications, which had been approved in October last year, were suspended by Employment Minister Jason Kenney earlier this year. The couple's challenge is the first legal action against the federal government's revamped temporary foreign workers program ever since the new enforcement measures were introduced to address the public outrage over alleged abuses of the program by Canadian employers. In case the challenge is successful, the court might strike down the new measures, which also include a ban on hiring foreign restaurant workers in areas where unemployment is above 6%, and it might force the government to reconfigure the controversial migrant workers program. Though the couple were informed about the suspension, they were unaware that Kenny had also published their company names on his website. Canadian employers need certainty in order to enable them to conduct their affairs. That their LMOs may be suspended based on what may be an ever-changing version of public policy considerations is unfair and leads to what the Supreme Court has previously termed a standardless sweep, they said in their claim. Allegations in the claim have not yet been proven in court. In the result, employers do not know their standards that they are being required to meet in order to avoid the LMOs being suspended or revoked until after the minister publishes the information. The presumption in law is that new legislation does not apply retroactively unless Parliament explicitly provides for this retroactive application. Staples' offices were searched in the spring and documents were seized and Jeff Staples was handcuffed and later detained in a police station for many hours. No criminal or immigration charges, however, were laid or filed against them. In the minister's letter of 4 April 2014, the applicants were told only that there were reasonable grounds to suspect that they had provided false, misleading, or inaccurate information in their LMO applications, said the Staples in the court filing. They were provided no further information as to the allegations, and they were advised that an investigation would take place over the next 180 days. The couple argue that the minister must provide what is meant by public policy considerations in justifying the suspension of an LMO, and civil investigation cannot be used as a foundation to discover evidence to be used in a penal proceeding. The Staples said both Employment and Social Development Canada and Citizenship and Immigration Canada have violated the couple's right to due process. Both ministries have refused to comment because the issue is currently before the courts. Approximately 25,000 Canadian employers hire temporary foreign workers each year. In more than 1,100 workplaces, migrant workers make up almost half of all employees. Source, The Star.